So in order to design the microstrip, you're going to click in this arrow under Q3D and select 2D extractor. Now you have to draw the cross section of this microstrip. I'll start designing uh, the ground plane. So you can draw like rectangles uh, like this. And if you click here on create rectangle, you can change the X and Y coordinates. So one thing that I'm going to do is create variables to create a parametric design. So I'm going to put uh, on X min minus W divided by two and W is going to be the width of my um, model. I'm going to put this like one millimeter. So on the X size is going to be actually W. And on the Y um, axis, Y size, I'm going to put minus copper underline T. Uh, that's going to be the th thickness of my copper layer, 0 0.035 millimeters. Uh, if you click here, fit to all, um, you'll see this is going to be like rectangle. You can change this by uh, the name, putting something like GND. Uh, if you click here, material uh, appearance is going to change the color to copper. And now what you have to do is design the dielectric. Uh, you can do this by a different way. I'm going to show this like a line. I'm going to click in here and here. So what I have here actually is the the height of my dielectric. I want to put something like DL underline T on, um, let's put this 0 0.1 millimeter. And here on create polyline, I'm going to change the cross section from none to rectangle and the width to W. So uh, if you click here, you can actually change the W to, you know, something like this or this or the copper thickness, uh, you know, and the design will automatically update. The only thing you have to do now is to design the microstrip so what I'm going to do is um, the point one, uh, I want to set this as dielectric thickness. And the uh, dielectric thickness here, I want to add the copper thickness. So yeah, something like this. And uh, on the cross section rectangle, and let's set this as trace on the line uh, W. Um, this is, uh, let's put this 0 0.15 uh, millimeters. And again, uh, you can change this uh, to uh, like a trace or micro strip. You can click material appearance. And here on polyline one, let's right click and assign material. Let's type FR4 and select this one, FR4 underline epoxy. Um, here you have your parametric design uh, and it's done, but I'm going to create some air around to plot some of the fields. So uh, I'm going to put this like this. Again, the, the same thing. Um, I'm going to put like uh, on the height, I don't know, something like dielectric underline T times 3. OK. Uh, and uh, of course, here on the cross section, rectangle, the width. Uh, and this, of course, you're going to change the material to vacuum uh, material appearance. And there we go. Uh, you have your model fully parameterized in here. Uh, one thing that you might want to do is click on the trace, right? Click and assign a uh, conductor signal line. We're not going to solve inside. We're going to solve on the boundary because I want to apply some uh, roughness. Um, and uh, here on the ground, I can right click, assign conductor, um, you know, ideal uh, uh, or reference ground. Uh, we can solve in, uh, on boundary as well. How do I uh, assign? Um, roughness to my trace or my ground. I right click and I go to uh, select objects or, or selection mode uh, edge. I'll select all the edges that I want to apply roughness. And I right click, uh, assign boundary, finite conductivity. And you can use coating. Uh, I'm just going to use the surface roughness model from Paul Horry. And um, there we go. Uh, the only thing you have to do is to click in analysis, add solution setup. Um, you can select the solution frequency, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll set 5 gigahertz. And you can right click on setup and add the frequency sweep. Uh, let's simulate from 0 to 1 gigahertz. Let's do interpolating. And that's it. You go to simulation, validate, and you go to analyze. And in a few seconds, uh, you should have your results. So, yep, it, it's done. One thing that you, you might want to do is uh, select everything. So selection mode objects, select everything. You can right click CG fields like electric field vector E, uh, for example. So you have the vector uh, of electric field. It's all in here. You can 
select everything, uh, RL, like something like flux lines. Um, so you have the flux lines as well. If you want to make one plot disappear, you right click and plot visibility. You can double click on the color scale, add more lines, um, something like this. And most importantly, you can go to results, uh, create matrix report, rectangular plot. You can plot many things like characteristic impedance. What I want to do is resistance. Ah, OK. So this is the resistance as a function of frequency and the inductance. I'm going to select L, add trace. So because of uh, you know, skin depth, uh, you know, uh, resistance will increase with frequency. So that's uh, how you design your uh, microstrip, right? Make sure that you have here on conductor trace and ground and uh, all the results. Now the second step is that now that I have my micro strip in here, and this is by the way RLC is a function of the uh, length because this is a cross section, so that's per unit length. So let's try to run a signal in here and see the eye diagram. So go to project, insert a circuit design. You can click OK. So the circuit design is here, right? Let's, uh, you know, click in here. Uh, you might want to drag and drop either here uh, or here on the schematic, OK? So if you click on the schematic, um, you can press Shift uh, on your on the keyboard to pen, uh, Shift and Alt Zoom. You see here that I have my uh, trace and the reference, right? Uh, so that's actually uh, the trace in here. So we have the input and the output. In this model, in circuit, double clicking here, if you click in here, you see that we have the length. So that's uh, how you're going to set the length of your microstrip. I'm going to create a variable called length and set this to 10 or, I don't know, 30 millimeters. You can change that later, right? You see here that we have the, the design properties, the value of the length. So what you want to do is add grounds to the reference, OK? And you might want to add a source. So in our case, we're going to click here in dependent source. There's something called I source. So what an I source basically is, is a, an I diagram source. It's a digital source. You can change the unit interval, the bit period. So this is one nanosecond for one gigahertz time rise fall. You can change the bit pattern. Um, you know, this is a random bit pattern. So let's use this one, uh, you know, one gigabit per second signal. Here on the other end, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add a probe. So under probes, there is an I probe. So I'm going to click here, press S, drag in here. And I need to terminate my circuit. Let's just use a, a 50 ohm resistor, right? Uh, and that's it. Press X. S, connect the ground, and there we go. We have our model. So right click here on analysis, add maximum solution setup, transient analysis. Let's run this for uh, one microsecond, OK? Um, and there we go. Uh, right click here on maximum transient, analyze. Um, one thing that you're going to see now is that we can right click on results, create eye diagram report, rectangular plot, and on the unit interval, you have to put one one nanos, that's what we have. Uh, so you have the the eye diagram in here, both net one or net two. Uh, that's where you want. So net two is where we uh, have our uh, output. If you want to double check, you can click here and see this is a, a net two. You can change the name. So let's click here in circuit one and, and change this to, I don't know, 100 millimeter. And um, Let's right click on next in transient, analyze. You see that the eye diagram changes, right? Uh, you can do what I usually do. I drag and drop my uh, plot here. So let's do this. Uh, you, you can change the, this to 20 centimeter, uh, you know, and you see the, the eye closing. So this is actually an eye diagram of the transmission line that you just uh, created in here. You can change, of course, the, the, the signals, you know, the waveform. Usually what you have to do is to run for a bigger, you know, longer time. We do have uh, outside the student versions, uh, statistical based and convolutional based solvers called Verify Quick Eye. Unfortunately, on the you know student version, there's uh, only transient. But if you want to run for several lengths, or you know, you can just right click, add parametric, and like let add length. Let's do something 
you know, really outrageous. I don't know. <laughs> Something like this. Let's, uh, you know, simulate 10 to 160 with a step of 10. So we're going to simulate all these variations. You can right click now and uh, analyze. And on the studio version, we can't solve them in parallel. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. Shouldn't take long. So if you want to plot for all of these different lengths, uh, you can. There, there are many different ways. Here on the families, yeah, you know, you can go and select the specific length, like, and you can apply trace, and then you see that for 1.6 meter, you know, you, you, your eye is closing. So that's how you design a microstrip from scratch, and you, you know, put into circuits and see an eye diagram. 